So now we also have another therapy, cabozantinib, which is a VEGF met axel inhibitor. Um, Nazar, do you want to talk about the top line results of the Meteor study? Sure. So the Meteor trial uh, was a phase three trial that looked at uh, recruiting patients with clear cell RCC after a VGF or TKI. Uh, they, the eligibility criteria were very uh, liberal. They allowed uh, any number of prior VGF or TKI as long as they had progression within six months from enrolling on the trial. And the comparator of cabozantinib uh, was Everolimus, similar to Checkmate 025 study we discussed uh, just a minute ago. Uh, Everolimus was the comparator. The primary endpoint, unlike the uh, Checkmate 025 study, the primary endpoint was progression-free survival. And the secondary endpoint was OS and response rate and uh, you know, safety, et cetera. And the, they, uh, the, the impressive results with uh, cabozantinib mm -hmm. is that the median progression-free survival with cabozantinib was 7.4 months compared to uh, you know, uh, 3.8 months median progression-free survival with Everolimus. So that was statistically significant. Response rate was also 21% uh, versus 5%, similar to the response rate with the Checkmate uh, 0 to 5 study. Uh, we are awaiting the uh, OS data. It has not matured yet. I think in early 2016, we will have the data. Uh, but there was a trend. A strong trend. A strong mm -hmm. trend uh, favoring uh, cabozantinib over Everolimus in terms of the secondary endpoint OS. So, so I think this drug, absolutely, it's a VGFR TKI plus a CMET inhibitor, plus an axle inhibitor. We were talking about resistance earlier in the discussion. Mm. So this, uh, this uh, agent is a novel in the sense it's uh, targeting uh, two pathways that are uh, considered uh, up to be upregulated in VGFR-treated patients. So the CMET pathway and the axle pathway. And I think it is very possible that the reason uh, cabozantinib was so effective in this uh, salvage setting after vgfr -TKI is it's targeting the CMET and the uh, axial pathways. So obviously now th this brings another therapy that uh, will be hopefully uh, approved soon for our patients, another drug uh, you know, to uh, treat our patients within the salvage setting. It's great to have all that choice. Paul, how do you cope with all that choice? Uh, you know, we have Excitinib, uh, Everolimus, uh, Cabozantib, and Nivulumab. It has only two lines. Well, <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, so I'm looking nice. for, I'm, I'm, nice we need funding, we well, need funding. Th remember, the thing about NICE approval is that when they say it's approved, actually, the companies don't need to market the drugs very heavily in the UK anymore because it's we have, there's done. an expectation that there's a standard mm. of care yeah. mm -hmm. and there's um, uh, equal access across the country. And, and actually, I think that's been really important in terms of raising the bar about the quality of care. Um, and we don't have this problem with community oncologists doing strange things, as happens in many other places around the world. So there are, there are lots of, there are lots of uh, benefits, I think, if the drug's approved. Um, we'll see, obviously, you know, assuming carbazantinib and nivolumab are improved, I, I think uh, what we're seeing, obviously, the, 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 the first implication is that the role of Everolimus gets pushed further down the mm -hmm. treatment algorithm. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I think we yet to we, we we're yet to see um, which patients we should be using targeted therapies in preference to which patients we should be using immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. We don't know that yet. There needs to be, f f there are forthcoming subset analyses planned on the 025 data, which may start to tease out some of the story. Um, my preference generally has always been if one's trying to use immunotherapy to get durable responses, and you know that you've got targeted agents that are active um, uh, when somebody's progressing, is, is there is a logic in using immunotherapy earlier rather than later. But, of course, we don't have a data set in that setting yet. There's, there, there, there are ongoing trials, not, not least combination Epinevo studies, um, a study. Um, but but um, at the moment, um, I, I'm assuming we'll have nivolumab access and carbozantinib access. And my preference probably will be to try to get the immunotherapy in uh, mm. earlier rather than later. But that's a prejudice rather than, rather than being data driven. Carlos, what's your impression? Is there any difference between IV versus PO treatments or tolerabilities? How would you choose in the second line now that we have all this data? 
Uh, certainly, the IV, the mode of administration, is one of the things that uh, obviously impact the way we select therapy, but I think the efficacy still remains the most important thing. Controlling the disease uh, for the longest period of time. I was impressed with the results of the Meteor study in the sense that uh, it almost doubled the PFS. It's the first time we go over this four, five, three, four, five months. Mm -hmm. So that's very impressive. Uh, I would uh, eagerly await the survival data uh, because I guess the critical issue here is how do you put uh, the second line the immunotherapy versus the second line VEGF met uh, TKI. So that's, that's an interesting question that I think that we're going to have to challenge that. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't know. I think we need the clinical data. We need to run the trial in order to see what happens. And we need to collect biological information in order to analyze what happens to the tumor, okay, uh, to see if we can uh, tease out who are the patients that may benefit from one of the, the two approaches. Uh, at this point, we don't have either agent available in Brazil, so that makes it very easy, mm -hmm. okay? I just say, well, uh, clinical trials are the, the right answer. You don't uh, even have acetinib approved uh, in Brazil. We don't even have acetinib. So uh, for you, it's uh, VGF RTKA followed by Everolimus. Everolimus. That's, right. that's, our, mm -hmm. that's what we have. We have a lot of clinical trials in our center specifically. We just finished recruiting on the uh, combination ipilimumab nivolumab trial versus sunitinib, which was very interesting and generated a lot of uh, interest in the patient community and the, the doctors as well uh, because it uh, makes the potential for improving on the response rates and maybe even in the uh, long-term survival, PFS and survival data in that regard, like happened in the, in, in the melanoma area, arena. So the, the point being is that we need this uh, to collect this information uh, in order to uh, inform our future uh, uh, research.